Hey all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be testing out a bunch of the new products that I just bought in the Sephora spring sale. I did a haul for you all this week and I wanted to try some of this stuff out. I haven't tried any of it as of right now, so I'm really excited to dig into some of this. Now, unfortunately, I did not buy any new, I say unfortunately, but you know what? My ass saved some money. I didn't buy any new foundation or concealer or powder, anything like that. So I went ahead and I did that off camera. If you're curious what I am using on my face, everything is gonna be listed in the description box down below. But I'm really curious to see how I'm gonna make this work because I bought a ton of lip products. Like, okay, look, if you didn't watch, spoiler alert, I have one, two, three, four, five, seven, seven new, oh my God, I'm just kidding. I have so many more than that. I have 12, 12 new lip products and they are all nude shades. They're all nude. So spoiler alert, you're getting a nude lip in today's video, but let's see what we can come up with. So like I said, I've done all my face and I have primed my eyes, but the thing I am dying to dig into is this Melt Gel Liner in Wallflower. Hmm. A grungy green is just so lovely and yummy and delicious to me. So I'm excited to try this and I really wanna do kind of a grungy smoky eye shocker and then a nude lip and i also have some new blushes from melt and the tower 28 cream bronzer which looks very light and is possibly going on my returns list but i want to give it a try on my face and not just a swatch so yeah let's dig into all of it before we do that though i do want to add in another item i bought during the sephora sale and that is the killian boys perfume I mentioned that I have been straight up obsessed with this, so I'm going to do one of these. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good. Again, the top notes of this are cedar wood, cinnamon, and cola. It is so sexy. Oh my God, that immediately set the mood. When I tell you I smell myself all the time when I'm wearing this, I just literally sit here going, <sighs> So I do want to start with the Melt Gel Liner sort of as a base. I have used their gel liners in the past. I have a ton of them. And I know that a little bit, like a tiny bit, goes a very long way. So I'm going to start off with this small amount. Make sure no creases in my lids. And I'm going to apply this all over my lid and a little bit above the crease too. So this is a lot more of a spring green than I was expecting, but maybe it's just because I don't have a lot layered on yet. So this is a thin layer and that was one tiny dip in there. Basically, I just took off the tip of the nipple, if you will. Just going to buff the edges out with a brush. This color, of course, is, is my dream. I'm gonna apply a touch more on this side just because I think it's a little bit deeper over here than it is on this side. What I love about Melt Gel Liners too is that they do set down dry, but you do have time to like play with them. So it's not like they set so fast, you don't have time to move them around. Oh God, this is my dream color though. Oh, this is already just a win, 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 win for me. You all probably could have guessed this, but for the eyes, I'm going in with the Melt Gemini palette. This is my one that is beat and broken to hell. So I'm gonna have to hold it up very gently, but I am gonna go in with sort of the, oh, that gave a puff of smoke. I'm gonna go in with all these grungy tones at the end. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick eye look with this. Now this palette is kind of always out of stock, so I am sorry for that, but it always comes back in stock. So if this is something that you're looking for, just keep your eyes open because they always do come back in stock. So it's funny to me, if you've watched any of my recent videos, you'll know that like I just recently got my hair cut. It was all one length for literally like a decade and I got it cut into like a shag with a ton of layers. And I've gotten a few, not many, not many, but a few nasty comments on my hair. And I use the word nasty very loosely because what cracks me up is that the insults these people are trying to use on me 
are actually compliments. Like someone was like, I mean, I guess that's okay if you're going for that bad 80s rocker look. I was like, um, in fact, yes, I'm always going for the bad 80s rocker look. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Like if I had been a little bit older in the 80s, I might have been a groupie. I'm just saying. Oh, yes. This shade in the palette, Fire OG, is just so good and it is really popping over that base. Like, of course, you can wear those bases, you can wear those gel liners, you know, you can wear it as a base or as a liner and they pop on their own, but like, look how deep and rich it made that Fire OG color. It made it so just beautiful and grungy and plus even though it has dried down what's nice is that it's still giving it something to stick to so while i melt shadows are some of my favorite shadow formulas anywhere they can have a bit of fallout from time to time because they're so pigmented and there's no fallout it's just sticking nicely to the base and uh yeah it's it's looking it's looking kind of dreamy wow yes so I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna take the tiniest, tiniest bit of this gel liner. I'm even gonna tap some off on the back of my hand and I'm gonna put this under my eyes just as a base for the shadows. Interesting, this was the tiniest dip into the pan. So just one thing I will say about the Melt Gel Liners is, I, I know I said this already, a little bit goes such a long way that it is easy to go overboard with it. And I've done that in the past where I put on too much and I was like, it's not setting down. It looks patchy. It looks this, it looks that. You just need the tiniest amount possible. And once you have that tiny amount, you will love it. You will fall in love. So I'm going back into Fire OG and I'm just gonna smoke this out a little bit. You know how you have those looks that you just feel the most at home in? This is one of mine. But because I wanna try it, I also did buy Onyx, which is their black gel liner. I'm gonna use this angled brush. Um, and this one I do enjoy, it's by Moda. It is the BMX 498 line brush. If you have an angled brush that you really like, comment down below and let me know because I have these two kinds of angled brushes. So this one is uh, one of the Kat Von D brushes, an old brush, the number 70. What I like about this is that the bristles come to such a sharp point that you can really get a defined line. Whereas this, sometimes the bristles flay out a little bit more. And that's with any of my angle brushes. Most of them do this and not this. The problem with this is that it is so sharp that sometimes it kind of hurts and it, it might not, you know, blend out the line as much as you want it to, but this one makes it go a little bit crazy. So let me know, what is your favorite brush for gel liners? I am always open to new brushes, so I am just dipping this into the pot just a very, very little bit, very little bit. I'm even gonna dot that on the lid just to get rid of some of the excess. And what I like to do is I press it back and forth like this, because that creates sort of a sharper line. And I'm just lining the very, very base of my lashes. I don't want this to be like a wing. I just want it to make my lashes look a bit thicker. Now that there's not really anything left on the brush, I'm just going back and just not really, I mean, kind of smudging it out, just smoking it out a little bit so it doesn't look like a defined line on either eye just so it's deeper and darker and sexier. Oh, Rexy, you're so sexy. I'm also gonna put a tiny, tiny bit at the base of my lashes below, and I'm not using any additional product. I'm literally just using what's left on the brush. We are golden, pony boy. I love their gel liner so much. So I'm going to go ahead and curl and mascara my eyes. <laughs> And we'll be finished with the eyes already. I keep smelling myself and I'm not mad about it. Okay, so the eyes are done. This was a very simple look, but just to show you, like that's where I got rid of some of the, like the gel liner and look. And that was just tapping off the excess. So this stuff really lasts. And I guarantee you that my look is going to look like this look looks all damn day. So. Let's try the thing I'm most nervous about. This is the Tower 28 Bronzino Illuminating Bronzer. 
And the shade that I got, to be fair, is the lightest shade of Sun Coast. Now this is definitely deeper than my skin, but it is very metallic, very metallic. So I am, I'm nervous because I want to be able to see this. Now it's not weird for me to wear just bronzer and no blush some days, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my bronzer brush. This is what I usually use. And I'm really gonna kind of get in there and look, you can't see a whole lot on this, but I'm gonna go ahead like I'm just bronzing my face and see. Okay, so by the way, I did do a little bit of contour. So I'm putting the bronzer up almost like where I would put a blush. Do you see anything? Because I really, really don't. I see illumination for sure. I don't see bronzing. I'm gonna try this on the other cheek, but Let's see. Yeah, no, I don't see anything. All I see is illumination. I see no color on my face whatsoever. Unfortunately, I do think that I'm gonna have to return this. This is a $20 product, and even though I got it at the discount, that's, you know, it, it's, it is what it is. I'm just not thrilled with this. I think this is going back. Boo, let me know if you got this and what you think of it, but right now I'm a little bummed. All right, next we have the Melt Powder Blushes, which I'm very curious about. I also left these in the box because, you know, I'm never sure whether or not I love them. And my necklace is upside down. <laughs> but I got these specifically so that I could layer them with the Melt Cream Blush Lights, which I already love. So I think the shade I want to do today, let me see, Cali Dream maybe? I feel like that'll be so light. Or Honey Thief. Yeah, let's do Honey Thief. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to grab Honey Thief from my Cream Blush Lights collection. I know I talk about these cream blush lights too much, some would say, but I really do think that they're, they're going to be one of my top 10 products of the year and it's only April. I use these every single day at this point. Where is my blush brush, she said. She said, where is it? I cannot find it. Like seriously, where's my blush brush? Oh my God, I don't have that many brushes. I have a lot of brushes. There she is, there she is. Okay, so I'm gonna start by applying the Honey Thief Cream Blush Light. Whoa, she's, she's vibrant today. Okay, I always said I feel like I don't put on enough blush and then, then here she comes. Oh, this is such a pretty color. Look at that. One thing, these packages look exactly the same. So I do have to look on the back. This is the cream blush light. I'm a weirdo and I like to keep things in their packaging, okay? So now I'm going in with the powder blush. I'm going to, ooh, okay. So this looks like, yep, a little bit goes a long way as with most, most melt products. I'm gonna layer these. Oh, that is cheeky. So this is one dip into the pan layered over the cream. Wow, that is, um, that's a lot of blush. I don't know how I feel about this color with this eye. I would normally go for a much bronzier cheek with an eye like this. I mean, she's kind of cute. She's kind of cute. I've been liking also putting blush kind of way up here. I know that's a very 80s thing, but we've already had this discussion, okay? Okay, so I do like the quality of it. I mean, a little bit went such a long way. Again, I can't speak to longevity as of right now, but I like the way that these look layered. I think it's kinda, kinda smexy. Guess what time it is? <laughs> Lips. What am I gonna do? All right, let's see the colors that we got. So again, I have the Charlotte Tilbury JK Magic, which is, mm, mm. Mm, okay, you know what? I lied. I just want to try the Charlotte Tilbury. Let's see what lip liner I want to use though. Okay, so let's go with the Natasha Denona Lip Cheat. The, um, I'm sorry, the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Crayon. And this color again is called, I believe it's pronounced Noa. It's N-O-A. Make sure nothing's on my lips. I'm going to overline a little bit because I always do. All right, this lip pencil is an absolute dream. It goes on so creamy and it feels so nice. It blended out nicely when I just like tapped it a little bit. Wow, I could almost stop with this. I did contour my lips a little bit in the center as well to give it more of that like that Angelina Jolie something or other. 
So now I'm going in again. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips 2 in JK Magic. I hope it's not going to be too pink, but let's see. This feels very, very nice on my lips. It really does. It feels um, creamy, but it doesn't feel, you know how some lipsticks are so creamy that they just move all over the place? This doesn't feel like it's necessarily gonna do that, but I do wanna top it with this. So this is a Silky Lip Creme by Patrick Ta in the shade She's Independent. And I know this isn't really a gloss, but I wanna apply a tiny bit of this over top, almost as if it is, because the color is so pretty. Let's see. I almost have some like Pam Anderson lips going over here. Okay. I need a highlighter. I need a highlighter. What do I want to use for a highlighter today? I feel like something golden. All right, we're going into the OG. Do you see the dip in this pan? This is Becca Champagne Pop. I would get this while you can. If you don't have Champagne Pop yet in your collection, there's a reason that it's iconic. It is just... It's so pretty on every skin tone and it just like, it just melts into the skin. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, a little setting spray. I'm using the Koki Cosmetics Hydrating Setting Spray. I've been really liking this. And that is it. She's all finished. So let's go over my first impressions on each of the items I did get to try today. Um, this is not a first impression. I'm officially obsessed with this perfume, okay? I'm smelling it on myself obsessively. I'm just like, it's so, so damn sexy. But anyway, okay, the Melt Gel Liner in Wallflower. I will say, I think this is sold out right now, but keep your eyes open because I think that this has been sold out and restocked a few times. Even if you don't get this color, I love the Onyx color too, which is just black. I love all the ones that I got from the Beetlejuice collection. I love the one that I got from the Rust collection. I haven't used one yet that I have not been absolutely in love and obsessed with. So the gel liners from Mel in general, I would say they are a hard recommend, yes. The Tower 28 Bronzino, unfortunately, I am gonna be returning this. This might work. I mean, here's the thing, I would consider myself to be fairly fair. I'm not, you know, the palest of the pale, but at the same time, like, I feel like I should see something from this other than just illumination. If they're going to call it a bronzer, I should see something and I see absolutely nothing on my skin. Again, this could be the tone of it, but I just feel like I should see something. I don't know. So I'm going to be returning that one that bums me out. I hate returning makeup because I know that they just have to destroy it but I'm not gonna be using it. The powder blushes, I think they did a really, really nice job. Again, again, for the 90th time, I wholeheartedly recommend all of the cream blush lights from Melt, every single shade, but I really like the way that these layered. I think they layered comfortably and the color is really good. I actually wound up really liking it with this look. I think it gives a rosiness to it, so I really like that. And then the lip products, I love every single one so far. I love them so much. Now, I did not try today. I still have the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat, and I have two lipsticks from Melt that I got for free, but then I also have another Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips. This one's in Super Cindy. So you're probably gonna be seeing nude looks on my channel for a minute, but yeah, that's it. Let me know what you all think down below. What did you get from the Sephora VIB sale? Are you loving it? Is there anything that you had to return? Because I feel like that's kind of inevitable. We can't try on stuff in the store anymore, so say lovey. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you haven't already, I would love if you could give this video a thumbs up or subscribe. I do put out several videos a week and that's it. You all can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are all glitter fallout, but as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars and I love you so much with my whole heart and I'll see you in my next bad 80s rocker video. <laughs> Bye.